What's up everybody? Welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority. Let's see how hard it is to break the key inside of this lock. So easy to open it with the key, but if you twist it the wrong way, look how easy it is to break that key. Now my key is broken to open this. How do we open this key? Super simple without making too much noise and breaking other stuff. Wow, the whole lock set on fire. This is crazy. Whoa. Boom whole lock just fell off wow look at this it just melted off all that metal super super hot so on the internet you can break a lock with the wrenches well i want to try it for myself and see if it's actually possible we're going to try a few different locks and see if this hack actually works or not also the longer the wrenches you have to have seems like you have a lot more leverage all right let's try this Boom, wow, it just crumbles apart, look at this. So let's see if it actually works. So we're gonna put it in, and then without breaking my fingers, I'm gonna try to close it. Oh, oh my God, this is so hard actually. Let me try to get a bigger wrench, so we're gonna have bigger level. I don't know if it actually works or not. We'll find out in a second. Oh wow, Ugh. did it work? Whoa, the whole metal actually broke, crack. Wow, check this out. It broke and it came off and look, the actual metal part cracked. This is insane, wow. So as you can see, I got here chain and a lock, but I don't have the key for this lock anymore or I never had it. But what I need to do is take off this chain and I don't have the key for it. So let's see if it's... This will work once again. Oh man. So as you can see with the chain on, it's a little bit more annoying and tedious to get it right. Okay. All right, let's try this. I might need smaller wrenches because it doesn't go all the way. You have to go all the way for it to work. Here you go. It broke the lock as you can see right here. So now I just need to pull it out all the way. You see this lock is broke but it's so tight still I cannot just unhook it. So some locks are still really good and hard to break it with this technique. You see, I cannot undo it because it would not pull off. Ah, here you go. We're going to put to the test another lock. This security number four, we're going to use liquid nitrogen to make it a lot more brittle. And so we're going to hit it with the hammer, see if it's going to be easier to break in with the liquid nitrogen or not. Okay, another lock test video. First of all, I got here a beaker. We're gonna fill it up with liquid nitrogen. Oh yeah, that's enough. Whoa, look at that, so beautiful. Now we got here liquid nitrogen and then we're gonna put the lock right inside of it for a while. I don't know if you can see that, but the lock inside of it. You see there is a lock and a liquid nitrogen right submerged, fully submerged. So we're gonna keep it there till the liquid nitrogen is going to evaporate. The liquid nitrogen almost evaporating all the way. We're gonna give it a few seconds. It's so cold, look at this vapor. Okay, then we're gonna take it out. Look, it's still 
burning. Pour some liquid nitrogen on it. And then we're going to grab a hammer and hit it a couple times and see what happens. Here you go. Look at it. It broke. The, uh, the whole metal actually broke. Can you believe this? Wow! Wow, I did not expect that to happen. I really thought this piece would fall apart. But looks like this is a heavy duty piece right here. It's solid. But this, the steel part, it broke on this side. Not where it slacks, it bro broke where it holds. If you look inside over there, there is still a piece of metal there. Pretty cool test, definitely worked out. I like that experiment. So we're going to use thermite and test it on this lug. Let's see if it's going to survive. Kids, do not try this at home. All right guys, as you can see, I put this very thick flexiglass over here so it does not spray me at all. Right here, I got magnesium ribbon. That's so epic. But as you can see, the slug is still works. Awesome, I can't believe it survived. Okay, there is another little lug this time. And let's see if this little lug will completely get demolished. Whoa, this is crazy. That lag gotta be done. Whew. I'm not touching this right now, it's way too hot. Whoa, this whole lock is burning now. You know what, even this little lock survived. Here you go, double the amount. They had to melt the lock. Whoa, and it did. Kind of, anyways. Okay, it looks super melted. Let's see what happened. Oh yeah, the whole lock have melted. Look at it. Whoa, this is why I'm using super durable gloves. Only the top piece of lock left. So this is two pieces of the lock only left. The main part of the lock burnt out. And we just doubled the amount of thermite. This is insane. Looks like thermite beat the smaller lock. Okay, double the amount for the big lock as well. No way, it still survived. You know what, this lock is not going anywhere, you see, it's still intact, it's not broke off. I probably will need way too much thermite and I don't feel safe burning too much of a thermite. I don't want to burn myself. Today we're going to pick a lock with these tools, with a bunch of picks. And also I'm going to try to pick a lock with the bobby pin as well. Let's see if it's going to work or not. So how does the pod lock actually works? Look at all those pins over there. And if we're gonna put the key in, boom, you see all the pins have lined up. And if you turn it, now it opens. Simple, right? And we're gonna take the key out, you see all those pins are at the different level, once again, again. Let me show you once again. When I put it in, you see all those pins are at the same level again. Turn it, boom. You see all the pins are lined up in there as well. This is different type of tools you have. I probably will be using this one for that lock. And just this one. First thing we're going to do is grab this kind of tool and put it inside over here. I'm actually never done this before, so I'm learning with you. Then while I'm holding this sideways like that and pushing the tension down, I got this kind of tool. And what I'm going to do is just push on the first pin. You see all the way, then second pin, do you hear it click, then third pin, then the first one once again. 
Something is missing, looks like. See, it looks like all the pins have lined up. Why is it not opening? Let's figure this out. Oh, okay, all the way in and boom. Whoa, this is actually so easy. This is awesome. You see, it's luck right now. Let me try to use this kind of tool. Let me show you from far away. I'm just gonna stick it in like this, hold it down. And this one is supposed to just go like that and go back and forth, back and forth. And boom, wow. This one is the easiest. Do you see, lock is open. This is so cool. Sometimes what happens is you see this pin have pushed up too much and that will block it and you will not be able to open it. So what you're supposed to do is release it again and sometimes start over if it pushed too much. And boom. This is so cool. This is so much fun. Okay, let's see how fast I'm going to do it. Hold it like this and just push each pin out. Looks like they all line up and except the first one. That's it. They all line up. Now I have to go all the way to the front and pop it. Boom. Awesome. Love it. You see how it's open now? Now let's see if I can do same thing with bobby pins. I open this bobby pin up like this. I'm just going to stick it in and fold it just like this. Not too much. So what I'm trying to make it look like exact same as this one and the other bobby pin i just fold it in half once again i'm just gonna stick it this way the way it's supposed to open and then i'm just gonna push it this way try to push up all this little pins up you see it i'm pushing it up up here you go just one more over here You see how they all on the same level. Now I need to get this one and it will, should open all the way in. Boom. And we open it with bobby pins. This is awesome. Do you see that? Okay, let's try this again. I got this bobby pin. Just going to push it into here. And then we're going to keep the tension in it. And this bobby pin, boom, goes to the top. And then we're just going to pull up all the pins. You see how some pins are too high, just loosen the tension and they will fall down. That's it. Now we gotta go all the way in and get the top one right here. Boom, and we open it with the bobby pins. First thing we're gonna do is cut an aluminum can. So then we got this small piece like that. And then we're gonna cut a V-shape style piece. I'm gonna show you how. If you start cutting it like that, and then go around it, smooth out all the edges. So we don't want any bumps on there. So we ended up with this piece right here. And then usually if you face the lock, it's usually on your le left side. It's on my right right here. Then we're gonna need to grab this pick we just made and put it next to the bar right here and kinda smoosh it in like that. Smoosh it inside like that. Get it inside all the way. And then try to turn it by these two pieces. Sometimes it's not so easy. All right, looks like we got it too. You see how we turned it around? And now, now just pull it up. And you see this peak kind of broke? 
So you can usually use it one or two times, but I would recommend I make a new one. I don't even know the combination of this lock and we got it open.